go. <sighs> Doing some uh, jigging. Jigging. Yeah. Um, uh, right here, I'm getting set up with um, for some jigging out fiber. Jigging basically means you're pulling out fiber off the cable with your truck. Uh, it could be by hand on the ground, but in this situation, it's just way easier to uh, put it put it up by hand. Um, I like using some people will just rip it all on the ground. If you have to do it like that, because you have to do it like that, go for it. You know what I mean. But this is one way to do it. Um, I just like putting it with rollers. I have a 90 that I have to go through. And when you're pulling, if you do a 90 degree turn without any rollers, it's not good. I set up my flags right there. There's a corner. There's two corners here. And so I only have me and this other guy. So I have to put that right there. They put the flags up, you know, just for safety reasons so they can see me and all that stuff. I'm in Texas, so you already know what it is. If I was in Oregon, where I'm from, yeah, no go. Like, you need flaggers and all this shit. And, like, yeah. In any case, I think I put the trailer f way too away, too far away from the pole. Some people, you know, but, I mean, what are you going to do? I think I put it uh, back there because of the ditch. It was just easier to get in and out right there. there was, as you get closer to the pole, it's a big old ditch. And I don't you know, so just made it happen. Get my sock on there real fast. Boom, boom. I think this is like a 48 count. It's a overlash project for a company. Um, so the strand is already up, well, uh, up there, you know. So you just, boom, throw it on top of that one. Get my roller up right there. Um, my Sherman. And then uh, just start jigging it out. Put it in lead. Put it in lead. And, uh, you know, get a little bit of tape on the on the rollers. That way they don't move on you. Um, this span is bagged out. It's, it's like, wait, look, it's touching the fence, man. So right there, I don't put any, any rollers. I just, I'm like, whatever, dude. I mean, I put enough rollers so it doesn't rub on the fence. You know, that's the main issue um here and i want my fiber to roll smoothly i have it, the truck i'm pulling this thing with is an ap40 i mean this thing will pull you know a house through a hose if you wanted to um but i don't want to damage this fiber so i'm putting up my rollers at these locations because i don't want it to hit the ground too much i want it to go nice and smooth especially if you have only two guys you know if you if it's me and the other guy you put a roller behind the clamp on the pole that way you don't have to um s put tape on it you know just you know set it up there boom the the clamp will hold it here you just you know every 40 feet or so 50 feet just depends on how long you're comfortable with it um it rolling without another support another roller the more rollers you put up there the better everything is gonna pull smoothly you're not gonna have to fight it when you're lashing back it should look nice it should be right up again right above um the other cable to the side it just depends how how you want it you know to look because sometimes if you just drag it on the ground and you start lashing it to it, it starts looking all wobbly you know it just it doesn't look good you know you want your stuff to look you know like it looks good ain't nobody gonna probably look uh, go out there um as far as like oh look it's wobbly there it's fiber like this shit's i'm doing coax right now and that thing is a business um, it's just very difficult coax compared to fiber. I miss fiber right now, but the economy is doing real sh not good right now. And so all projects, all big builds, fiber to the home, all stuff like that, like I can't find in Texas, Central Texas. It's it's bad. I mean, oh, 
the other companies that I used to give me work, like, a lot of work, like, they're all like, dude, it's getting bad out here. So I'm doing coax, but anyways, this is like some uh, BAU work. BAU means business as usual. This is just little upgrades, uh, things like that. Um, anyways, I love my truck. It's a big old truck. It's an AP40. I put a bunch of money into it recently. I love my truck. You know, I invested some money into it. But there, you want to bypass those uh, snowshoes storage loops um you want to put it uh, a roller either before or after those things this is the 90 i'm talking about you know you want to go into this 90 nice and smooth you know so that's why i set up how i set everything up i put my rollers where i put my rollers at for a reason because i want it to pull nice and smooth i'm out like right there like what a thousand feet or so you want to go into the 90s as soon as possible you know some people even say set the trailer up right there at that corner pull it one way and then drop it on the ground and pull it the other way this thing is so light that i was like now nah, just pull it all at once i don't want to deal with pulling it one way and then having to drop it and an s it out on the corner i can't even get access back there to the you see how that that's a water treatment place or some shit. I don't want to deal with that. So I put it on one end, go into the corner as soon as possible, 1,000 feet, turn left, and then I go all the way down another 3,000 feet or so. And so, you know, it, it went perfect. Like, everything lit up. I had no issues. The only issues here was reaching this pole. As you can see, there's like cable up there that looks like garbage. They just put like... They just put, um, you know, look, look at that. Look at that thing, dude. Look at that. And it, why did they do that? Well, because they can't reach the pole with their trucks. Mine's an AP40. So I was able to back into that ditch and get it done. But anyways, questions, concerns, leave a comment. All right, now, chill.